Hi everyone. Now in the last part of this video we joined all of our squares up uh, with just a plain um, crochet cotton kind of um, thread that was in yellows. And now in this video I'm going to go a step further, bring in some colours and different kind of stitches to really make this whole cloth look good together all these separate parts so we had a couple of squares of orange fabric that were sort of on their own so what I've done is bring in a little bit of orange stitching so I already had a sort of a flower shape put into this blank space here just going around the outside edges of it uh, with a orange thread and then doing some some few straight stitches on the petals and then just adding a button and that's enough it's sort of just a little touch of orange just to bring that orange further into our design so here I've decided that I'll just go around that a uh, little bit again just to bring that orange a little bit further out I'm not doing very much but it's just um, it's just accenting or balancing that orange that we have in the squares that are there. Here's another area where I've added some orange. I've actually done a little stitch there that's sort of waving. It looks like waves or leaves or fronds or something. We've got a very um, organic looking piece here and I'm sort of sticking with the theme of these lovely flowing lines and maybe flowers or leaves. So yeah, that, that also helps us to go over several of the squares and bring that orange into, into them and, and help to link them together. And here, that's where we started at the, at the end of the last video I had done um, those stitches to just sort of bring those flowers out into the blank space in between. So now what I'm going to do is just add a little touch of orange and do a little bit of chain stitch around those black centers of the flowers and then like I did on the other side just a few stitches out into the petals just to add a tiny bit more orange. can see it works it works quite well I'm not doing a lot but it's enough I am enjoying the way this is coming together it's turning all of these separate little pieces of material into one one whole cloth and that's what I'm doing I'm trying to extend beyond the pieces into the blank spaces or into the um, the square that's next to it so I finished with the orange for a little while. I'm just adding a bit of a bit of yellow um, into the centres of this flower. Those same stitches out from the out from the centre, just to add that tiny bit more colour. And also, see how I'm going out over the green square there, just to sort of uh, once again, you know, um, disguise the separation of the squares, I suppose. But very simple, very easy stitches. And here, can you see how it's sort of like they, they the flowers, because this is not a, a dark color, it almost disappears into that background. Now I could I could either use a darker colour and go around those edges if I wanted to, but I thought I wonder what it would look like with this. A little bit of seed stitch to sort of colour that background almost in a different light. And I thought, well, maybe that will make it show up. And what I've got here is a variegated thread. It's a, it was green and it was brown and different colours. And I thought, how about I just pick out the area between the, pe 
petals and sort of force that into the background a bit and also it was good because um, it held down some more areas of this here so that was okay too so I do like things that are useful like that So seed stitch, just tiny stitches in different directions. Really nice when you've got a variegated thread like this. Or you could use two different colours or just the one or what have you. Um, okay, so. The whole idea is that it will make us think Just going around an imaginary thing there because there's a petal that could have been gone around. I didn't do it, but it could be. So each time I bring the needle up, I go in a different direction. to I could do this little bit as well just like I've done above I'll have a look in a minute and see whether it's being any use it's just to make us get one more there make us think that we well make us see those flowers a little better and imagine a little bit better and it's all part of that whole cloth that I was talking about in the previous video that we want you know, we want the whole thing to look like one piece of cloth like it was patterned like that in the first place so what do you think I think that really is a whole lot better and I would be inclined to do a bit more here I think to make that edge stand out I don't have to do everything in it I just saw little patches that might be nice sometimes in our in our cream. So there's a reason we didn't put something on every little bit of it. It allows us to add other things. So this is one of them. And it's all about balance. Remember how okay, so here's my orange. I only had really two pieces of orange. And so I added a, a little bit of running stitch sticking with that floral kind of theme we've adopted a few leaves and then over here you know just a just a swirly which is also sort of leafy kind of you know fronds yeah so because i want that orange to be repeated in places even if it's just subtle like that just so the orange doesn't look like it's bang, you know, put there and it doesn't relate to anything. These little tiny bits that we're putting in helps it to relate. Hmm. This may or may not work. It really doesn't matter if it does. But I've had an idea that I would like to at least get some of that flower. Um, outside the edge here do little tiny stitches because it's very dark let's see if it works if I do more than two at once yet hmm. well black's not too out there there is black in the center of the flowers and there's black on this and there's tiny bits of black but not a lot so I don't want to use an overpowering amount um, yeah, but I would like to use some. Do the the same and just sort of suggest some of those leaves or petals, sorry, coming coming out into that center. Remember, how I said I'd put that round center that was in the previous video here. That's because I really did think that I did want to do something like this and and get that that flower to come out 
and been more noticeable as a flower. You and I know it was a flower because we cut it from something, but other people might not realise. When we cut it from that floral, what was it, tablecloth or something, then we know what context it was taken from. So something like that, not very much, but just to extend that outside. I might do a little bit more, you know, maybe a, a few over here, see how that goes. So you can see I also added a little bit of white uh, going around the same, like a few white petals, and then just a little bit of white in the center going inside uh, the circle of running stitch that we'd already done, and sort of like a little bar of stitches. And now to cap it off, I'm just going to do some French knots in the center. So using two strands of a yellow thread, I come up from underneath and go several times around your needle and then back in again. And you'll end up with these lovely knots. I've decided to do a few little lines of green as well, adding in a few extra petals there. And that's really just to extend that green square of fabric, the, the colour into the orange, uh, yellow one that's next door to it. So that's how it looks. And I really do like that little motif, so I'm thinking I might, you know, pop another little, much simplified version here somewhere. Now I'm taking some of this teal colour, putting in a few leaves, and here, and even a line up there, just to get it outside of the edges there. I really think it's coming along very nicely. Very happy so far. I'll just have to add a little bit more. You can see the white? That I did a few little stitches of white there because we had white there. All I'm doing is following what we've already got. In fact, these leaf, you know, that was there. I'm just sort of copying it or bringing it down on my own interpretation of it. But something has to happen with that flower there. It really is an outstanding flower. So we'll do something pretty with that. Orange, that's a possibility. Pink, pink would be very pretty. You could certainly add pink if you wanted to. Dark blue. Fluorescent green. Mm. Um, it's your personal choice, what you would like to do. I am going to grab out the greens, browns. Uh, part of me wants to shove the blue in because it's just a beautiful colour. Um, it's quite nice too. It's it's a lot, much lighter version of this. That's a possibility. A lot of things are possibilities. There's some things you know that you might think, oh yeah, that's a pop of colour, you know, to take it away from what you've got. But you have to be careful about what you do add. You don't want to add too many. Uh, colors unless that's what you're aiming for a nice hodgepodge I do like that as well so yes thinking about color that's kind of important and what I was wondering about was could I add some of this this orange here it's a very pale orange it might be okay I'm going to try it and see I'm just having a closer look at this I've already popped in these stitches from the previous video where I've done them all over in that one colour, but I oh, I already saw these lines here, which made me pop those lines in, and I could easily do some more. I could do that there if I wanted. Um, but I'm also seeing these, like a central flower under, 
in the middle with, with little you know, something around it. I'm thinking, oh, that would be nice to pull out as well. Um, so plenty of things I could do. But at the moment, still unsure. I'm still thinking about it as I, as I tie my knot. That's the way I roll. Um, hmm. I kind of want to do some French knots around around that and then decide later. That's what I'm thinking anyway. And let me just pop some in and we'll see how it looks as a bunch. Okay. One thing I did discover was it's very, very hard to do a French knot with this slippery, shiny um, thread. Just wants to slip all the time. Anyway, so I persevered did some. But I think in future I, on this one I'm just going to use, use it for simpler stitches. So... Let's just find my needle now. For, for example, I'm just going to pop a few now through here. Just to blend a bit of that orange in. Every now and again, we should have a look at it as a whole. To just see how it's flowing. I'm really liking how they're all joined up together. Can you see here, I did this whilst the camera wasn't on. And it's just a another little section of seed stitch, just with a single thread. But I've left these negative spaces of a leaf shape. I could possibly go back later and put in a, a central vein with the um, radiating lines out to sort of accentuate that leaf shape. But it's sort of, um, it's already helped to blend it. Look how it's blending lovely through into those flowers on those flowers head down and you know we've we've really got um the really good start of turning this into a, a whole piece piece of um artistic cloth uh, i think in some those little blank uh areas i still want to add something you know maybe that orange is still just a, a disturbing me a little bit a little bit too in my face I, you know, it could just be as simple as that. Let's just put, you know, some yellow buttons on it. That looks pretty good. Yeah, it blends in the yellow, brings in the yellow from everywhere else. It calms down that big expanse of orange. It looks pretty good. Yeah, I like it. So continuing to have a little look. And like I say, this kind of work, we could just keep going forever. I look at some of the blank spaces there and I think, you know, there's a reason I left those blanks just so I could use it later. Um, the threads that were hanging out of that piece, perhaps we could use that and couch some other threads on and just instead of working against it and cutting them, perhaps we work with it and include that in our design, catch some more threads across. You know, the more I look at this, the more I think this is going to turn into three videos. But I've just grabbed out the original fabric that started us off. Look at this. We've really done a good job, I think. It's modernised it. It's used some of the fabric and brought in all these other lovely colours. And yeah, I, I'm really quite pleased. It's been a really exciting exercise. But I'm thinking, you know, for some of those areas, maybe I would like to add, a, add in a bit more. I could, um, for instance, take this flower here and pop it in somewhere. You know, applique it on the top. You know, there's so much that we could do. And that's what I'm thinking. It's like so many ideas are in my head of what we could actually um, do with it you know I could um, put that there I could put it in a lot of places and it would be good on an edge there we go I've cut out another little piece just to 
just a, a rectangle with some budding flowers on it. I could use that. And here's another. I thought I love that little black flower there. Perhaps I'll cut another one out and use part of it somewhere. Maybe balance it up by putting it on the other side in, in some fashion. Hmm. I definitely would like to use it somewhere. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. I've just cut it to start with. Let's cut a flat bottom on it to start with here and then cut around some of the flowers. These are all just ideas of things that we could do and it really is a great craft for just letting yourself flow with it and just uh, using your imagination to see where it will head. So now we've got this piece here. I might be making a crazy decision here, but I've decided to cut that bit off there. And see that orange fringing there? We left that on thinking, oh, what on earth will we do with that? But I thought, actually, it's quite nice over top of that flower. We can incorporate that into our stitching and make that part of the, um, the flower. Maybe extend some of the black petals down into the... Um, orange again who knows um yeah so this is really becoming an epic this this uh project and i'm dragging out all different kinds of ideas in this one so perhaps that's what we'll do we'll do a a third video and um you know maybe we'll incorporate a bit of beading or there's certainly a bit of applique there something Anyway, it's up to you. You can uh, stop now if you like after this one or join me for the third. But I think uh, there's still some fun to have with this one here. But for now, I think, yes, I like that there. And to just put a dab of glue there, as we did in the first video, and I will just hold it there. Uh, whilst we're sort of thinking about balance, what else do we need on here? I'm thinking I liked that little other cutout of the white flower. Maybe down here somewhere, maybe there, maybe across more. You know, lots of places that would work. But something like that would be good. So a little dab of glue once you decide. And that's in there as well. And... Yeah, I really, I really think there's so much uh, potential here for, for more fun and experimentation. This is all about using your imagination and in your intuition for following the patterns that are there, flowing through the design, coming up with ideas and, uh, and color, you know, coordinating your overall look that you want. And practicing your stitches. This is all um, mindful, mindfulness and stitch therapy. And it is about not making a plan and just going with it, going with the flow. And yeah, this, this works for me. I think it's a really great, great thing. And you stop thinking about your problems or planning or, you know, what are we going to have for dinner? And you you just absorb yourself in, in a creative pursuit, which is really, really uh, a very healthy thing to do. So that's it. Like I say, it's all about flowing through. And that's the idea of what we're trying to do with this. Create a, a whole piece of cloth from all of those little tiny bits. It's been a lot of fun and I really do hope that you've gained something from watching this and you've enjoyed the process as much as I have. Um, if you have, do uh, please hit like and subscribe to my channel and if you want you can join me for the next one where I think we'll take this little project even further. So I do thank you for watching and um, if you're trying to find me anywhere else, all of the links are below.
Thanks again.